Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 3, where I'm fighting a spider jockey. I wasn't quite ready to record just yet, but I was like, ooh, spider jockey, can't miss one of them. Uh, hey, episode 3 of Create Above and Beyond, hanging out in some caves. Uh, I've been doing some mining between episodes, uh, stumbled upon a really large cave system that I'm actually kind of excited to explore. It looks pretty nice. Um... Just gonna have to head back to my base sooner than later to dump off all the junk I've collected. So, wanted to kind of just peek in here and let you guys know where I'm at. I've uh, been doing a bit of mining between episodes just in preparation for today's episode where we're gonna get the mill up and running and some uh, foundational create stuff, right? We want to get the we want to get the ball rolling with create. Uh, so that's gonna be the plan. Uh, hopefully, we will get into the, you know, beginning parts of it pretty quickly. Oh my goodness, we have to watch out for this stuff. Broken stone. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it definitely, you know, is cool. Uh, I've got a bunch of ore here that I've found. I'm hanging around Y level 50-ish, right? 48 at the moment. Um, I found zinc. I've found copper. Uh, I found a healthy amount of iron, I think. Where is all my iron? I know I've found iron ore. I just don't see the iron ore. But I know I've been mining iron ore. Am I crazy? There's the zinc, there's the copper. Oh, you know what, maybe I uh, I did do a quick drop off. Maybe I dropped off the iron that I got already and I haven't gotten more since. Yeah, that might be the case. Yeah, a whole bunch of copper and zinc so far. Uh, there's also iron around here, but like I said, I already dropped it off at my base. This is my second mining run, actually. So uh, yeah, lots of good stuff being, being found. Um, let me finish mining here. Man, the copper nodes are big in this pack. I'll put that out there. And you know what's cool? Some of them are green. There's the occasional green copper ore, which is neat. Uh, I think we'll be done here in a sec. Yeah, let's come back when I'm done with this node. Yeah, like, for example, there's the iron. Sweet. Oh, boy, creeper. I was about to say, uh, quick note, zinc can't be mined with a stone pick. So you need to use your Surtis pick or, you know, something equivalent if you want to mine zinc ore. All right, so uh, now that I've collected this stuff, just wanted to point out a couple other things that we found while I was down here mining. Uh, lots of ores to collect here, but I'm not gonna go too crazy collecting them all. Found this nifty little place. It's a skeleton spawner. That might be useful in the future. And then also uh, down in this skeleton spawner area, down here I found something of interest. There's more of that broken stone stuff. You can see I've fallen down here a few times along with some creepers. Um, some kind of laboratory-ish type place which is neat looking. Um, there is a fluid pipe from Create down here, which is cool. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this dirt. Hey, a sapphire, cool. Uh, there's some chains, there's some kind of liquid here. I'm not 100% sure what that liquid is. I don't know if it's a Create liquid. Does Create add liquids? I don't even know. It adds honey and chocolate, but I don't see a green liquid. So I'm not sure exactly what that is, but we'll figure it out. All right, uh, so just dropped off a bunch of the junk that I've collected here. Uh, I did find some gold. Uh, I found a block of gold on one of those broken down nether portal dudes. Uh, if we look at the map, you can see I kind of ran around a lot. And uh, that was another thing I did between episodes is I kind of ran all over the map and just looked around. Found a few interesting things, nothing too crazy uh, that I needed to show on camera. But yeah, some good stuff to be sure. One thing that I did find that was pretty neat, and it looks a little something like this. It wasn't too far away, but it, on the map it looks kind of like that. Um, what it is, is like it looks like a broken down kind of create structure. Now, I didn't make it to the top of these mountains, really, but that looks like something interesting up there. Um, and in that create structure, I found a few things, including a millstone, which is kind of awesome, uh, really. And uh, also a large cogwheel, which is equally kind of awesome. Uh, so with that, we can probably get started. I'm going to make all the things that I need to make here for the initial setup of stuff. So I know one of the things we're going to want is some of this kelp and probably a bunch of clay. And we want to get some of this, right? Now what I'll probably do is do this so we get a stack of it and then hang on to the kelp and clay <coughs> for more stuff later. And I'm also going to throw a bunch more coal in here. I should probably just throw a little stack in, huh? How about half a stack? We won't go too crazy. 
Uh, and then this algae brick is going to be used for andesite alloy, which will be nice. Now it uses andesite or andesite cobble, and that's about it. Good to know. Okay, cool. You can also use it to make a few other cool things. Sweet. Actually, what was that last one? Is that just... Oh, that's just the alternate pattern. Okay. Uh, so andesite cobble, we have a bit of. We don't have a ton of. So we might have to go looking for more andesite. But we'll find out. Um, hooray! I'm checking my recipe book. Alright, so that means you guys are done. Uh, I can now start working on some small cog wheels. So what we're going to need to do is get some andesite alloy. Get started with that. How about this, and then cogwheels? That'll give me 16-ish of those, get started. A uh, large cogwheel, we'll need a couple more buttons. Cool, extra cogwheels. So that's all a good start. Uh, what I should also make is the wrench. That's gonna need some gold sheet, so we're not I don't think that's... Yeah, we're going to need to have the press, the mechanical press going for that. So let's maybe prioritize that first. Uh, we're going to need a smithing table, <clears throat> it looks like, in order to make some of these things. So that's interesting. Um, the millstone I could have made, but I got one of. The mechanical press needs a smithing table. Uh, the mechanical saw also needs a smithing table. And the encased fan also needs a smithing table. Let's make the hand crank, because that one I think I can make by hand. <laughs> and that's cool. So now, with this up and running, um, I should be able to process ores pretty well. For example, if I get my crushed iron ore, I can crush it into this dude, the iron dust. And then uh, Tinker's Smeltery can turn it directly into one-to-one -one nuggets kind of deal. Uh, this is one iron dust becomes one nugget, so that's not good. This is one iron dust becomes two nuggets. Not quite as good as the three nuggets we get from this dude, right? Um, so let's make that Tinker's Smelter dude real quick. So let's get uh, some sand, some gravel, and some clay so we can meet up with our old buddy Groot. You know what? I'm just getting all of it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it up. You and the grout. Sweet. All right, we're gonna try to keep things a little bit organized here. Whoop, what did I just do? Apparently right-clicking this stuff does something? Hmm. Not gonna worry too much about that, but do what now? Do what now? All right, cool. And you're gonna go into my create, dude. All right, so you're ready to go. We're getting our seared bricks. We need a seared melter. So we're going to need some glass as well. So let's snag some sand here. Did I use up all my sand? Is that what happened? I may have. But there's some sand right outside. But I should sleep because it's nighttime. And I don't want to go out there. That would be bad news. Uh, so we've got that, that, that. I think we're ready to go collect some sand. I thought I saw a creeper outside. No. That's what's up. Yeah, if we look, there's a... Uh, I'm hearing the villager dudes. The illagers. Or it's a wandering trader. But it's probably an illager. Cool. Back in a minute once I harvest some sand. I hear you, duck. Or swan, or goose, or whatever kind of bird you are. Pelican! Okay, cool. Not gonna kill this one. I'm doing okay-ish on food for a change. In my explorations and travels, I killed a lot of animals. And considering how much exploration and travel I've done, it shouldn't be a surprise that most of my crops are done here, so maybe not a bad time to replant a few things. Even though I'm pretty good on food, we want to keep it that way, right? Alright, so potatoes are definitely my favorite, so I'd like a whole line of those if I can. That should be cool. Perfect. How 
I'm gonna plop down another carrot and onion. How's that sound? I don't know if I'm gonna need lots of onions, but meh, it should be fine. And are you guys done? You are. Sweet. All right, good. Just need to keep an eye on food. All right, my algae brick is done. I'm gonna cook up some glass. My seared bricks are on its way. Sweet. So seared heater, solid fuel source for the for the smelter. Or I could do, yeah, and then seared melter, yeah. So this will let me, it's a solid fuel source. I don't have a way to transport lava yet, so I think this is the way to go. Um, so that should be cool. Seared heater, good to go. And then we're going to need a few glass. So we're going to need five glass. Does time in a bottle exist in this pack? I legitimately might just add it. <laughs> you guys know Dyer. Uh, I might add it just because. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I make no promises in either direction. All right. First smeltery. Place above a tank or heater. Boom. You're good to go. All right. Cool. So then we want a bit of coal. And we should be good to go here. Um, so let's start with the millstone and see how to get this thing going. I think all I need to do is pop a cogwheel next to it. Nope. Maybe a tiny cogwheel next to it. That looks good. Now, can I put my hand crank right on this dude? I can. It's alive! I've done it. Sweet. So let's get this crushed iron ore. Do I just drop it in there? Is that what happens? And then I'm assuming it'll spit it out. It's a little tight in here, but... My goodness. And then do I click it again to get it out? Yes, there you go. Okay, so when it stops emitting particle effects, it's done. Now, can I stick you guys in here? I can. Luckily, they actually smelt up pretty nicely. And then we have a molten iron ingot. Nice. Okay, cool. So then what we're going to want is a casting table and a faucet, right? Uh, so a casting table and a faucet. And then we're going to want... You and you. A little tight in here, but we'll make it work. Uh, and then we need an ingot of some kind. I think I can use the seared brick as an ingot, can't I? And so let me let me do this as if I were for reals doing this, right? So if I drop one in here, this should give me the equivalent of one. Sweet. Not enough free space for the liquid. Oh. Oh. That's right. They can't have multiple types of liquid in them, can they? So what we're going to want to have then... Maybe a casting basin? Or a tank? We could probably use a seared tank quickly to get this saved. Seared ingot tank. Retains liquid when broken. Perfect. So drain that out. Pick you up. Put you down. Can you make an ingot mold cast? Now, yes. Do I already have ingots? I do. I'm just trying to... I found these by luck, and I want to see what the process is to uh, get them without having found them by luck. Cool. Now if we take our melter here and we cast that dude, we should be cool. Hooray! That is good times. So we have ore processing up and running. And luckily, it's actually pretty quick, the melter. Uh, it's not super fast, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. 
I'll take it. Nice. Our first bits of iron, folks. Our first bits of iron. I might move this outside, this little setup. Um, but I think what I'll do first is let's find out how much crushed iron ore. Can I literally just put 16 in there? And then when you're no longer doing particle effects, you're done. Is that the way it works? And obviously, this is something we will automate in the future. That's what this pack's going to be all about, is automating this kind of stuff. But I kind of like the, the whole manual start. That's why I wanted to see a, a pack with Create as the forefront, right? I like the idea of a manual start. It's definitely taking longer to process all 16 of these. Looking for particle effects to stop, because I'm pretty sure that means you're done. I think that's now. See, no more particle effects. And then I click, and I got 48 dust. And then that dust can turn into ingots easily. Nice. Cool. That should be 16 ingots worth, right? And that's pretty good. Now, a few hoppers would be a nice thing to have. Maybe a little timer or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Not looking too bad. 16 ingots, as expected, plus the four that we made earlier. Perfect. All right. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, so now, does that mean I can make a smithing table? It does. Easy peasy, actually. Uh, smithing table, good to go. And then I think the next task for me then would probably be to make the mechanical press, correct? Uh, so that's going to be an andesite machine with a block of iron. Now, an andesite machine is going to need kinetic mechanisms, which are made either in a sequenced assembly with things, or it's made with a saw, a cogwheel, an andesite alloy, and a log. Well, all of these are makeable, and it looks like there's a stone version of the saw, so that's not terrible. Right? There's a diamond, but I'm not wasting my diamonds on that. I might make the iron version, because I assume... Well, it says not consumed by the assembly process, so, I mean, we'll see. Um, I don't know how this is made. Now, what else do we need here? An andesite casing? Well, that's easy, so that's cool. Kinetic mechanisms, yeah. So I'm curious. These are um, the little hand things from Create. I assume that I can't make them right just yet. Uh, that requires an andesite machine in order to make one, and it also needs a golden hand, which needs gold sheets. So definitely not yet, but soon. Now, let's figure out how many of these andesite machines we need in order to make all the quest items that we have, right? So the mechanical mixer needs one. It also needs a whisk, but the whisk also needs a stamper, so we need to have that done first, right? So the first thing is definitely going to be the mechanical press, okay? Uh, the mechanical saw needs one, so that's two. That's three. The encased fan needs one. That's four. So we're going to say four. Let's maybe say five just to break even, right? Uh, a little, little extra. Um, also because uh, we'll need to get the hand thingies, right? So we're going to need a few of these to really get the ball rolling. And I'm really curious to see how this works. Sequenced assembly. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm going to have to... I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that there's a quest somewhere that explains how sequenced assembly works. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. I'll tell you what, this manual milling... Really knocks out your hunger pretty good. Holy cow. I am going to have to find some more food. Yeah, like, look at my look at my hunger and saturation. It is just dropping like a stone. Holy cow. So I'm wondering, granted this is a little expensive. Also, I should make a bucket while I'm here. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea either. Um, could I hopper these guys in here? I hope you're automatable, buddy, because I'm going to be very upset if I just made this guy and you're not. Oh, you are. Good. Sweet. Okay, well, that's pretty cool, right? I like that. That should make life a lot easier for me. Uh, the only other thing I would have to do is redstone timer this thing, which I could probably do with vanilla. Well, I don't actually have redstone yet, do I? I have one redstone dust that I found, and then cinnabar apparently mills into redstone dust. Well, that's kind of cool. So I should be able to drop you guys in here. Hey, I said drop you guys into here. Hey, I said drop you guys into here. Why you don't want to drop into there? Oh, because there's still some of that in there. That's why. Aha! 
that explains it. You know what I'm gonna have to do now, right? I'm gonna have to Google how to make a timer out of vanilla redstone. That's a thing Dyer doesn't know. But that could be a fun little thing to do, real quick. All right, as soon as the particles are done, we should have redstone. This one takes a while, apparently. Yeah, one set of redstone is done. There we go, there's the other set. Oh. There we go, eight, sweet. Hey, does this work? What if we do that and then this? That works, right? There's a little clock. There's a basic little clock. Uh, that's cool. And then I guess it it doesn't matter which side this is on. So if I set this up right, right, okay, what I could have here then is we just need to clear out a little space above our head. About time we do that anyway, yeah. So, uh, let's see. It was the, the this here. This here. Like that. That'll do. Yes? Who says Dyer doesn't know vanilla redstone when he Googles how to do it? Hey, that's pretty cool. Right? Huh? Come on. Come on. Credit where credit's due. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That is not terrible. And then apparently if I put a redstone lever here... It should stop the pulsing. Do you not need to be pulsed? Oh, come on now, Seared Fawcett. I thought you needed to be pulsed. Do you not need to be pulsed? You're killing me, Smalls. Since when? Since when do you not need to be pulsed? Okay. I set up this whole little cool automation thing and it wasn't even necessary? Well, that's annoying. I was super proud of myself, too. Well, anyway. Automated or processing. Ish. Ish. Very ish. Alright, so we've got the smithing table now. Um, we're going to need more andesite alloy, which means we're going to need more andesite for sure. Um... Now, I don't see any more andesite in my inventory here. So how about I pop down into my area down here real quick and just see if there's any andesite chilling out. That's diorite. Andesite is the one that looks more like gravel than anything else. I think this is andesite? Yeah, it is. Cool. Back in a sec. Look, I'm just saying, in previous versions of Tinkers, it needed to be a clock. All right, here comes a bunch of this stuff now. So that's cool. Uh, so I need eight kinetic mechanisms to make one andesite machine. So that is a lot. Um, oak wood, and then we're going to need some kind of saw. I'm going to make the stone version of it. That sound fair? Uh, I need a flint. I need a flint. I need a flint. Cool. And then I guess you guys can go into miscellaneous junk now that I wasted all my redstone making a thing I didn't really need because levers work. Uh, cool, cool, cool. And you can go into here. I need to keep my inventory relatively clear. So what we want is a bunch of these, right? So I want a stone saw. And then what we're going to want to do is basically put as many of these into here as we can. There you go. So it doesn't get used up. It does take damage, but not in any way, shape, or form a lot, right? 
Uh, and then you need an andesite machine, which needs another oak log. So you know what I need is a, is a, is a, is a decent axe. Are there good axes in this pack? I thought... Now here's the thing. I was looking in, in, in JEI earlier. Didn't create have an axe um, that could like, you know, fell a tree all in, you know, perfect buddy steel axe, huh? Buddy steel axe. Ooh, buddy steel ingot. What's buddy steel? Oh, uh, maybe. Um, didn't create have an axe? I feel like create had an axe. Is it disabled in this pack? Because that's going to make me very upset. All right, now that my cup runneth over with iron, I don't feel bad making an iron axe because I'm gonna need lots of wood. Yeah, I can't find the deforester in JEI, which makes me a little bit bummed because I remember that being a really cool axe. Uh, and being a create pack, I would like to use a create axe to cut down trees. But uh, in fairness, I, I wouldn't even be near capable of making that anytime soon. Hello, friends. That's right, pillagers. I'm gonna need a new uh, sword anytime soon anyway. Uh, so at least we have iron tools now, so that's a good upgrade for us. Um, I could have made them a little bit sooner, but I didn't want to waste the iron, right? It would, it would have cost like nine iron to make an ingot. Now it's one iron ore to make an ingot. Hugely better, right? Um, cutting down all these trees will take a minute, so I'll be back in a sec. I will deforest this area eventually. That is the plan. Because we're going to have a pretty large need for a factory in this area. Factories everywhere. I'm excited to see uh, how all this automation plays out in this pack. Because I'm, it looks pretty cool so far. Alright, not bad. Starting to clear out this area a little bit. We're getting there. We're getting there. I almost completely used up that iron axe, by the way. Almost completely used up that iron axe, by the way. All right, so uh, we got the eight kinetic mechanisms, right? Uh, and now I should have enough of this to make some andesite casings. Uh, what I might want to do is make six of these andesite casings. All right, cool. And then we can make our first kinetic mechanism, or no, our first andesite casing. Cool. And now I think the first machine I would like to make is the mechanical press. So we're going to need a block of iron, and then what we're going to need to do is this and this, yield my mechanical press. That's not bad. Sweet. All right, that's cool. Uh, now, uh, we want to, you know, something. This is going to have a lot of, so that's sequenced assembly recipes, that's compacting recipes, pressing plates, and then automatic packing. Okay, cool. Now, there's a thing that we can put this on right what's the thing called that's that guy right let's see the depot under the press yeah that's what i'm looking for the depot okay so let's get a depot which is easy enough to make sweet all right cool now do you go right over it or do you go one block above i feel like it's one block above right and then can I put the hand crank directly on it? I think I can. Sweet. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, now gold. We wanted a wrench, right? That's one of the first things we wanted to get was a wrench. So that's going to be three golden sheets. So can I put all three on there at a time? I forget. Sweet. Okay, I can, but it needs to be stamped three times. Cool. And now I can make my wrench. Excellent. Nice. All right, cool. Rotates components towards or away from the face in which you interacted. Right click while see it assembles kinetic components. Cool. So if I do this, that's a nice way to break them. And it all, I think it magnets them into my inventory, which is even cooler. Excellent. All right, cool. So now we're going to want a few more of these, right? Um, which means I'm probably going to need a few more of these. So let's get like a stackish. Yeah, that sounds good, right? And then let's get four more sets of kinetic mechanisms. So let's do 
How about 32? Does that sound like a good number? Now, is there a crafting table? The crafting station. I wouldn't mind maybe using them. Only because that might be nice for like the whole it saves your inventory deal. Right? Am I am I thinking this right? Or is this or is this different? There's the crafting station. I think this is what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Except it has a furnace next to it, which I'm not a huge fan of, but meh, whatever. Meh. I don't like that whole accessing the inventory. I mean, it's nice when you have a chest worth of items next to it, I guess, but not kind of what I was going for. Um, but yeah, let's go back to this. So you're going to go here, you're going to go here, and we don't have quite enough of those. We have enough for that many? That could be cool. Yeah. All right. That's neat. I like that. And then we can get two more sets of andesite casings, right? Perfect. And then they can go towards maybe the mixer and the mechanical saw and the encased fan, right? Some of those things might be useful. Uh, the encased fan, I want to say, we can use to generate power, can't we? Like rotational power? It's a small amount of rotational power, but I think it can be, right? It can, it can use rotational force to create air current, but can it be used to generate rotational force? I feel like it can. That is the that is the coolest help system. The in-game help system on this is literally just the best. I mean, you can't you can't argue with that, right? I mean, it's so cool. Oh, here we go. Next scene. That's what I'm looking for. Air passing through lava becomes heated. Fans placed down into a source of heat can provide rotational force. When given a redstone signal, the fans will start providing power. It's a pretty small amount of rotational force, though. Look how slow it's moving. I mean, but also, it's better than manual. All right, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Let's come back next episode. I'm going to clear out a lot of the space around my quote-unquote base. Hardly a base, but you get the idea. I'm just going to clear this area out a bit. Um, and then I'm going to start moving these machines and stuff outside. I'm going to process all the ores that I currently have. So the iron and gold that I... I hit him. You guys saw that on the video. I hit him, and it did nothing. I would like to know why. Why did that not... Why did that not hit him? You saw it. Okay, cool. Well, now we know what corpse error. Okay, contains 33 stacks. Transfer items. Oh, sweet. That's cool. Contains zero stacks. Okay, now how do we get rid of the corpse? I like that it put my items back, but also how do we get rid of the corpse? How do we get rid of the corpse? I guess we're going to just wait and hopefully it'll disappear on its own. That's somewhat interesting and weird. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, cool. <laughs> Today we learned. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna like terraform this area a little bit. Um, you know, chop down some more trees, process some more of my iron ore and whatnot. Uh, maybe mine a little bit more, and then we'll come back next episode. We'll make the rest of the basic machines. Uh, we're gonna definitely need more andesite alloy, so we're gonna want to keep an eye on that thing. Um, and then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go from there, right? So I'm going to put away my mechanical press and all this stuff that is, uh, that is, that is related to this mod. And uh, maybe a few other mods. Yeah, lots of cogwheels, so that's nice. Cool. Yeah, not bad. All right. Uh, I'm having fun so far. I think this pack is really cool. And I'm, like, really into the whole let's, you know, see what other cool stuff is in here. I'm going to probably get more iron because iron would be very nice to have more of. 
Um, so I'm going to probably go mine a little bit. There's lots I need to do um, to kind of prepare for the next episode. I'm probably going to cut down a few more trees because there's some really big and annoying trees outside my base that I'd like to get rid of. Um, and terraform the area, like I said, because we're going to need a lot of space for the upcoming uh, stuff, right? I think. I think we're going to need a lot of open space. So for now, Del 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We're starting to get into the basics. We've even already automated ore processing to a degree. Um, we've at least automated the, the painfully manual part, which was the tinker's smeltery bit. That's relatively automated, which is cool. Like I said, we'll process more ores uh, between episodes so that we're ready for the next one. All right, Del 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.